everybody welcome back to daisy and in this video i want to talk about this amazing mod the vanilla plus plus map now you've probably come across this already uh, this mod has been around for a long long time um, and it has over a million subscribers on steam um, but if you are new to uh, daisy server modding on pc you might not be aware of it so what happens is uh, with this when this map is installed you hit m and then you can bring up the map and there you can see it has uh, my marker on there where I am and you can also add your own markers so the player can add markers to the map but also the server can add markers to the map as well so it's pretty cool it's very easy to do we can just kind of double click somewhere and we can say okay let's have a red marker that's got a icon of a star and say okay that will then add that there and then when we're back in the map um, we should be able to see there it is there's the marker now we can turn these 3d markers off or on so they're not distracting as we're wandering around um, but very very powerful so it's m to turn the map on and off and then k to turn the 3d markers on or off that way so also in this video i will share how to install it on a local server and how to install it on your remote community server too so let's jump out of here so we can crack on and as with most things daisy kind of uh, starts off in the workshop so you'll want to go to uh, steam go into the daisy workshop and have a search for vanilla plus plus and then what you'll want to do is you'll want to subscribe to it that will then download it um, and it does have a dependency so this is another mod that must be installed as well so you must have already installed cf or community framework for, for in order for this to work now once you're subscribed um, what will happen is when you fire up the daisy launcher it will download the latest mods and they will then appear in your workshop folder ready to be copied to your local server and also be ready to be copied to your remote community server if you're not sure where this is or you can't find it let's just see what's going on here it's not exited yet all oh, right there we go you exit good boy um, what you want to do is you go to the launcher and you want to go into the mod section and then if you click on the little uh, downward facing arrow on any of the mods you'll see these three little dots and you say open folder in Windows Explorer and this will then take you to your workshop folder so it's all there so all we need to do is go down to uh, vanilla plus plus map right click copy that go up one up another one and your daisy server is probably in the same um, folder as daisy it tends to be in something like c program files x86 steam steam apps common maybe your username will be in there somewhere so if we go into the daisy server we can then right click and paste and that will paste the plus plus map just remember you must have community framework installed already if you just do a Google search or a YouTube search for how to install CF. You'll find a video how to do that. Very, very easy to do. It's more, it's a framework that helps other mods work. So we've now got the mod in the correct place. What we need to do now is add the key. So if you go into the uh, mod, go into the keys folder, right click that, copy that, go up, go up, and then into your keys folder for your server. So you go into there, right click, and then paste. Then it'll put the paste in there. And the next thing we need to do is we need to make sure the server will start with the uh, with the mod. So you want to edit your batch file, your dot .bat file. Um, so you want to go to the mod. If you just left click it once and then wait a bit and then do it again, you can then cop left. You can then right click, copy the name of the mod to make this very very easy. Then go to your batch file, uh, open that in your favorite text editor. I'm using Notepad plus plus and look for the start line there it is and then in the start line you should find you've got the mod line there so what we want to make sure we have in here if we paste that in so we've got community framework and we've got devs framework you don't need that but it's in this particular batch file semicolon vanilla plus plus map and then we would start that sorry save that now once we've done that um, you can then double click on your batch file to start the server what will happen then is the first time it runs through 
it will create a config file now that will be inside your server's config folder now your config folder might be called config might be called profiles might be called settings generally in your batch file in your um, batch file it'll tell you what the name is so it's called config but it's the one that has um, lots of different folders that seem similar to your mod names as well so if we go into the config folder here you see we've got all these mod names here without the at sign um, so again this folder could be called config or profiles could be called settings called could be called anything but if you double click into it and it looks something like that if you well with the names you've mods that'll be it and here you can see the vpp mad config dot json so if we edit that with notepad plus plus right down the bottom these are the settings you can put into place so we've got can use 3d markers one so that means we can use 3d markers if you set that to zero people wouldn't be able to use them and then you've got own position marker disabled zero so that means no so it means when you open the map it does show you where you are again you can set that to one and it wouldn't and you've got force map item only you could set that to one and these are the 3d marker settings so when you first open uh, vanilla plus plus it has this bohemia interactive one and loot stash one but to turn those off you just go to here where it says m is active zero m is 3d active zero um, and they will then disappear now if you want to add your own server markers all you need to do is just copy from the squiggly marker to the squiggly marker and then paste that in make sure you've got a comma next to it if it's not the last one and then you could change that so you could then put in you know um, Rob's stash and then you could put in uh, the color and then you could put in the position which you could get from um, uh, well you could get that from the daisy editor or you could get that from um, the I survive map um, and then you could put whether it was a 3d marker or whether it was just a plain marker so that's how you can add your own ones in and it's the same thing for when you're putting them on um, on your remote server as well so then what you would do is you would just start your server and then people would press m to bring up the map or press uh, k to turn on or off the 3d um, 3d markers okay so next up let's look at how you install it on your remote community server so uh, this is from, this is uh, FileZilla, um, and I've already connected to my remote server, my community server. That's what this is on the right hand side. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find my Daisy Workshop folder and then upload the mod itself. Um, what you can do if you're not quite sure where this is, if you go back to the Workshop folder that we were in earlier, and then left click up here, that then gives you the direct address which you can then copy, take over to FileZilla, paste in. And that will take you straight to the workshop folder which is there so all you need to do is scroll down on the left hand side to from vanilla plus plus map and then click upload and that will upload it up to here as you can see i've already done it and then what we need to do is add the key so if we open up the keys folder on the server which will appear down here and then we go to the keys folder for the mod which will appear down here right click upload and that will upload that to there so the mods all there what we need to do now is go to the web interface for our server so go to nitrado for example log into the web interface go to the uh, general settings section scroll down to the additional mod section um, and this is basically the batch file with nitrado and quite a lot of server providers we don't get direct access to the batch file so you this is where you just need to add obviously you're going to have at cf semicolon and then it would be at van vanilla plus plus map in my case i've got zombie admin tools on there as well so it's a semicolon at zombie admin tool semicolon at vanilla plus plus map save changes restart the server and then your players will be good to go now if you want to edit the um uh, config file you're probably better off doing it you can do it from the file browser but maybe do it from within ftp so if we open up the config um, if we scroll down here on the bottom let's just go up here so, it's, so this is the uh, config file a config folder sorry within our server then underneath if we scroll down we should see if we scroll down right to the bottom there we go the vpp mag config.json so I can edit that like so 
and here we can see there's the static markers so we can set them to zero set them to zero and then we could customize whether players can use the 3d markers and whether their position is displayed as well um, and then if you made a change you save that and then your ftp program will probably say something like do you want to re-upload this and you say yes um, changes you make to the vpp map, map config file they they take effect immediately however players i think have to re-log to be able to see them but you don't need to restart your server to make them uh, take effect um, um, so there we go so that's how you do it so once you've got all those things in place restart your server the mod will be in place plus you can just press m to bring up the map press k to disable or enable the 3d markers and there you go you've got vanilla plus plus installed on your remote community server so there we go what a cool mod um, there's lots of add-ons for the mod as well that can do extra things like put safe zones and things like that on it um, and i'll probably do some videos about those in good time but if you enjoyed the video hit like if you want to see more the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon